purpose of today, I just want to clarify, is not for me to get up here and to tell you. We have at the Marriott Hotel. We charge people five dollars a head to attend these dances, and that's how I paid for my college. So you know, five dollars a head, get 500 people. I'm going around town with flyers, passing them, and then people show up, and that's how I paid for my college. You know, so imagine anybody here, the creative one here, five dollars a head, party at my house. My parents will be there. We got lots of chaperones. When we go to state, you know, uh, the football, different things, our, our team, we would have a bunch of people, we would make an excuse to all travel, you know, to the town to watch the state tournament. Well, I thought, I could make some t-shirts, and, you know, with crazy slogans on them, like, crush their heads, you know? We're playing versus the Winchfield Dragons, and I made a shirt that said, that's the Pocato Dragon Slayers, you know, things like that. And we made shirts, and I'd sell hundreds of them out of my locker, and that's how I, you know, paid my way through middle school and high school. But there's always a way you can get paid to do what you like. You don't have to not do what you like. Your job doesn't have to feel like a job. So about that time, I'm throwing these dances. Then I stumbled across a book called Think and Grow Rich. I promise you, if you read this book, it unveils all the secrets to building wealth. It's unbelievable. It will freak you out. It will keep you up late at night, wake you up early. You'll be waking up early and you can't go to sleep at night. It's amazing. Think and Grow Rich. It explains how it all works. I read that book, and from that point on, you see the little uh, Tulsa World article, I received the Entrepreneur of the Year Award by applying the tricks in the book. Uh, it's, has anybody ever watched YouTube and learned how to do the Cupid Shuffle, you know, to the right, to the right, you know? Okay, here's it. When you're doing the Cupid Shuffle, I mean, is it that complicated? No. No. Okay, we're going to the right, we're going to the right. Yeah, it's not that hard. But would it be that hard, though, if you just heard the song and you've never seen the video or never learned, you know what I mean? No, you can just figure it out here. Like, I mean, but a lot of people don't know what to do just because they haven't seen it. Once you've seen it one time, unless you're really, really struggling in the rhythm department, maybe you have a music class again, you know, you can do the Cupid Shuffle. It's not that hard. But the thing is, you have to see it one time to do it. You have to see it to copy it, to duplicate it, to imitate it, to make it happen. This book explains to you how to make it happen. It is incredible. It's like watching a YouTube video teach you the Cupid Shuffle for life. Okay? So watch this video. Anyway, then moving along here, you kind of look at my history. Somewhere like I said, cute little daughter pointing at the camera. We had some kids. We bought a five and a half acre, this huge, huge house, big, big house, about 6,000 square foot house. And we had all sorts of business success. Then we moved to this big office tower. We won some more awards, and I somehow arrived here today. And my dad drove me because I didn't go to sleep last night. So that's where we're, we're at. Kind of bad. Kind of critical. Okay, next slide. Okay, here we go. Then, uh, you know, along, along the way here, my wife, we've had a beautiful, that's our daughter, the man, on the bottom right. That's Aubrey in the top left. This is Angelina. She's a cute little, cute little kid here, cute little kid. Next slide, please, sir. Okay. All right. Now, growing up, my parents told me, dare to be different. My mom in particular. My dad, I, I think, uh, told me, stop being so different. But my mom told me, dare to be different. And her whole thing was she wanted me to not be centric. Does anybody ever know what the word eccentric means? Does anybody want to define that? Yes, sir, what do you have? 